we're going to start by talking a little bit about glaucoma. And uh, glaucoma is a really serious disease. And it's really poorly understood by uh, the ophthalmic profession. And um, I think it's overdiagnosed because it's such a fearful disease. And glaucoma can lead to total blindness. In many cases, it's overdiagnosed. And I see quite a few people that are taking glaucoma medications who uh, don't really have glaucoma. And uh, what happens is you have a elevated pressure, one reading of an elevated pressure, and the doctor begins you on eye drops. And sometimes, in many cases, the eye doctor doesn't even take your pressure. The technician will take your pressure, and she gets a falsely elevated reading. Or uh, many of you have had your ear, uh, eye pressures taken with a puff tonometer, with an ear puff. And typically, you usually get a much higher pressure with the tonometer. And I've seen cases where you'll get a reading of over 25 with the ear puff, and then when you get the, uh, a reading with the blue light, it's in the teens. So it can be like 10 points higher. So typically, um, you know, the normal eye pressure is anywhere from 12 to 20. Once it gets above uh, a 20 or 25, we're suspicious of glaucoma. But that doesn't mean you have glaucoma. Now, glaucoma is a disease primarily of the optic nerve. And the optic nerve is the pathway for all the vision to go into the eye, into the occipital lobe or the brain. And what happens in glaucoma, because the pressure is elevated, elevated pressure inside the eye, it cuts down the flow, the blood flow to the optic nerve. Much like if you fall asleep, you know, you lie on your, your shoulder or something like that, and, you and it falls asleep, the blood flow is off. Well, in glaucoma, the optic nerve is sensitive to pressure changes. So when you have a high pressure, it cuts the blood flow. So typically, um, traditional treatment lowers the eye pressure. They feel by lowering the eye pressure, the blood flow to the optic nerve will improve. So it's much like a, a seesaw. When the eye pressure goes up, the flow to the optic nerve goes down. So if we reduce the eye pressure, the flow increases. So that treatment works, but it really goes against uh, homeopathic principles or natural laws because, you know, the body makes the aqueous or liquid in the eye for a reason. And it carries nutrients and oxygen to different parts of the eye. So when you arbitrarily lower the eye pressure, you're affecting these nutrients and oxygenation of different parts of the eye. Um, and it's much like if you have high blood pressure, taking a medication to decrease, you know, bone marrow production or to de decrease blood production in your body. You know, you need your blood. So um, my approach has always been to try to improve the circulation of the optic nerve. Now. You have to wear two hats when you're treating glaucoma because it is such a serious disease and if you have glaucoma, you don't want to do anything to jeopardize the life of the optic nerve. So typically when I do see somebody with glaucoma, we try to do everything to improve the circulation of the optic nerve and at the same time as the eye becomes healthier, then we can cut back on some of the glaucoma medications. Because I believe that a lot of glaucoma medications are toxic um, you know, they're short-lived. By that I mean you take a glaucoma medication, it does fine, and then a couple of months later you need another drop and then a third drop, and then pretty soon you need surgery. And then you get complications from the surgery and so forth and so on, and you end up having a lot of problems with your eye. So 